you go, little girl. Oh, look, she's trying to get her toys, aunties. Are you trying to get your toys? Yeah. There you go. We just had a bum change, top and tail wash. And a bum change. Where's her brush? There's her brush. So she's all ready for the day ahead in this lovely soft baby grow. I absolutely adore little babies in baby grows. They just look so cosy. She's got little booties on, little hand knitted booties. And this lovely cardigan from Auntie Sheena, which has got booties to match actually. But these were the first ones I picked out, so I put her in those. But she does have ones to match. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Stinky dappy up there. Look. So there we go. Are you trying to get that? Are you trying to get it? Are you? Are you going to eat it? Say, I can't get it, Mum, very well because you've covered my handies up. <laughs> oh, my poor baby. Let's move back. Is you? Come back onto that. There she is, aunties. There she is. What I'm going to do now is sit her in the um, vibrating chair, baby chair, and uh, get my, finish getting myself ready. There we go. I'm just making a bottle for Annie. I'm just going to pour this milk in. You're, um, you're in the cupboard because <laughs> I couldn't find anywhere else to prop you up. So I'm just going to pour this in for Annie, and he has one of these because she is a toddler. And I'll have some water, water it down just a little bit. And that was only just like a little bit of um, milk that was left in the bottle that I probably would throw away. It's not out of date, but I want really, an well, it was enough to make a cup of coffee actually, wasn't it? A few coffees. But I got a fresh bottle anyway. So anyway, so I'm going to give that to Annie now. This is her bottle. And then I bought um, one of these. It's called a newbie muncher. I'm perfect for purees and first tasties. My easy squeeze infant feeder is perfect for the transition to semi-solid food and purees as well as promoting self-feeding. The squeezable soft silicone bottle and pressure sensitive valves in the feeding pouch are ideal for feeding baby and it's safe for them to use as well. So I thought I'd have a look and see what that is. This was like, I think it was on offer for $1.99 um, on Amazon. You know, I got I have Amazon Prime and then you have like add-ons. I think this was a $1.99 and I was like, oh, let's try it then. $1.99. It's quite thick though, so I'm not sure who's going to be able to hold that. I was going to try with Timothy. Hmm, we'll see. It's got measuring things all up the side there, so you can see how much they're eating. It's a bit of a process putting it in this little hole. But, um, that'll do, I think. <laughs> nah. Let's have a look. And then the babies push it up and then it comes out of the holes. <laughs> so basically it's something that they can um like munch on while they're in there. Whether they're in their high chairs or going along in their push chairs, you just put some food in there. And they can squeeze it out themselves. And make a complete mess and enjoy it. <laughs> Feel the textures and all that. Right then, little man, look. Got you this. You can have this. Right, okay, you got to put this on then. Right, because I know you'll be a messy boy. That's it. That's a good boy. So we've only got a little bit of a mess, aunties. We've only got a little bit of a mess. You've got to get it right up in your mouth then. That's it. Get it. You've got to squeeze it hard. You've got to use all your fingers to squeeze it. Mummy help you. Hey, mummy help you. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Say, so look at that. It comes out the holes. 
but when you squeeze it, it takes a little while to get the air back. You're meant to suck it, that's why. I haven't quite got the hang of this, Mummy. You're meant to suck it, all right? Are you right in there reading your book, Mrs? Yeah, Mum, we've got to pack, haven't we, in a minute for Auntie Sheena's. We've got to get packing. Yes, we have. Yeah, we've got to get packing for Auntie Sheena's. And take you and Oliver to Auntie Sheena's, yeah? I know, you're sitting in the big pram. Should we show everybody what you've got in the big pram today? Say, so we've got our new book. we got Woody, Bot Bot, and this is what Auntie Sheena gave us, wasn't it? This, this knitted bunny, rag bunny, hey? Yeah, Heidi and Emily like it, don't they? Yes, they do. Yeah, Mum's just going to have a cup of coffee before it's time to feed one of your little brothers or sisters. I'm sure one of them will be awake in a minute. Yes, I am. Oh, you want your bot bot, do you? All right, I'll bring it up by you then. There we go. Come on. Come on, we got to go to nursery. Got to go to nursery. Yeah, I've got your moose. Got to take a moose today. Well, it's raining, so Mum had to get changed. It was sunny earlier. Yes, that's a green car, but you have to go to nursery. Come on. That's a good boy. Come on. Yeah, I've got you. Oh, it's, it's so slow. It takes us ages to get to nursery. Doesn't it? When you decide you want to walk. Because it's a really slow, slow process, isn't it, Timothy? Yeah, Mummy's helping you. Come on. Oh, that was a big step for a little boy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know you've got your new shoes on. Got new shoes. What's that? That's a bit of moss. Look, we haven't even gone past the length for the green car yet. Should I carry you? Hey, where are you? They people can't see. Shall I carry you? Hey, shall I? Shall I carry you? Oh, you know you're gonna walk another step. Go on, then. good boy. Why are you doing it? You're doing it. Yeah, I know. You got help from mummy. I know. There we go. There we go. So. This is the best thing to use when, when the toddlers are feeding. These are art and craft aprons with like long sleeves. And they're so cheap. And they just wipe, everything just wipes off. So baby food just dries on it and then you just wipe it off. You know, you don't have to then put it in the um, washing machine or anything like that. I like using the softer ones, obviously, for the babies when they're giving them a bottle and stuff. But for the big ones, these perfect so now I just leave it flat out to dry and there we go see the baby food just literally just drives dries on it it's so cool so good such a good idea to use these hey beautiful girl did you have a nice lunchtime nap did you did you have a nice lunchtime nap well you look a bit blurry I don't know what the camera's going out with Anyway, we're going to take you out now. Yeah, we are. Are you going to come out with Mum for a walk? Yep, come along then. Well, time for a walk. We're walking Millie. There's Millie. Aren't we early? We just took Millie to the vet because she's got poorly ear. So now we're going to take her for a little walk down the cycle path. It connects to um, of the little towns. It used to be a train track, um, and so now they've converted it. You've seen me walk the other way before. I've walked the other way. Um, it's got a disuse uh, station with um, information about evacuees that came to this area. After the war, he's <laughs> smiling now. Hey, look at me, aunties. Look at me. Got big smiles. Big smiles and clean little teeth. Um, yeah, so you have seen me do the other side of the walk before. But uh, I was out this side of this small town or big village or whatever it is. And um, 
It's just easy, it's a one-way system, so it's easier to come this end. So Emily's got a coat on and a hat. I could probably take the hat off, actually. Um, and she's in, um, what are these called? I can't remember, so long ago since I got one out. Anyway, she's in this because, you know, they're babies and babies don't move very much when they're sitting down. Doesn't she look cute? She looks so cute. <laughs> I did bother to put the gloves on though because I don't think she needs the gloves. We're right next to the road. The road is there now and so the trail goes on up through here well i thought she was going to sleep but it's getting a, it's a little bit bumpy this part <laughs> that's the umbrella sticking out so this is the oyster switch for those of you who don't know and i've had this the longest that i've had any pram push here because i really i love it it's not very good for walking along here. Um, this, the Land Rover would have been much better, the Eye Candy Land Rover. But this is the one I've got in the van because I'm already um, getting ready to go to Auntie Sheena. So this was the one that was already in the van. So this is the one we're using. Maybe I should have fixed wheels, really. On this part. Um, but yeah. So I love um, how easy it is. You just push in this one, the one the other side, you lift off the seat and just turn it around. It's really neat. And then the hood just swivels. You don't need to take the hood off. And I love how far down the hood goes. And also the step bit at the bottom this bit at the bottom as well you can maneuver here's someone coming on a push bike <laughs> good girl Millie. so beautiful Millie Come on. Thank you. Wait, up there. Get up there. I'm up here. <laughs> She's like, nope. I'm having too much fun, Mum. Too much fun down here. Good girl, you're not going back. Did you have a little run in the water then? Did you like that? No, you're not going down there again. I don't know if you can get down this side. So we're back to the camper. Billy's having a treat. And Emily's having a pop pop. Hey, my girl, are you having your pop pop? Are you having your bop bop? Yeah, we've got to drink it then. It's got to go right in, otherwise you'll get dummy ache. Yeah, it is. You can do it yourself, you don't want to. I think she's tired, aunties. Little girl has decided she wants an afternoon nap in mummy's big pram. Look at her. <laughs> oh, Annie. Hey, you've got your bop bop, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, mum's precious girl. Yes, you are. Mum's precious girl. She doesn't want the hood up. I thought she might want the hood up and be closed in. She loves lying on this, don't you? It's comfy. Hey, is that what you say? It's comfy. <laughs> she can't quite say comfy, so she says comfy. <laughs> comfy. <laughs> so sweet. I love baby talk. Hey. No, you're not a baby, you're a big girl. Yeah, you're a big girl. Say, Woody is in here. Say, Woody is in here. Don't worry, aunties. 
and this is so lovely doesn't let them overheat because it's holy this crochet blanket oh you're such a cute you have an afternoon nap then mum see you soon so little Oliver is just getting his last bottle before mum goes to bed I shouldn't think it'll be his last bottle tonight because it's not a big bottle I don't really take a big bottle like last thing at night so now it's about 10 o'clock at night just before 10 o'clock so he'll have this and then um, in the night when he wakes up he'll have a bigger bottle come on bless him yeah. you're such a little cutie pie Yeah, a little bat on the back. Okay, burp, burp. Are you gonna bring it then, Wendy's? Oh, look at him! He says, "Give me a bottle." He doesn't look very happy about that, does he? Hey, he's got his pajamas on now. Little fleecy dinosaur pajamas. Let's see if aunties can see. There we go. It's not always really easy when you're trying to um, video yourself without a stand, <laughs> which is exactly what I'm trying to do, video without a stand, so that you can see this little guy, hey, you can see this little guy, yeah, you're getting tired, oh, you're getting a sleepy boy. Yeah, you've got all sleepies. Let's get you some more bottles.